So I'm going to have to close that curtain because this light is super bright coming in my face. Um, I have a Barbie neck. It is extremely broken. I am going to show you how to work the pieces. I'm going to use Loctite super glue. You can use Gorilla Glue, the gel. I recommend mostly. Um, but what I'm doing, I'm going to wrap the um, the little ball part with the press and seal type plastic. So I can just cut it off in the end um, and around it. So anyway, let me go and close that curtain and get started. Okay. Mm, I'm comfortable in pajamas. Hi, Jay. How are you doing? Okay, so yes, at my mom's, I, I went through um, some color changes. So my hair has got a lot of ash blonde in it. It feels smooth. Oops, I took my ponytail out. So uh, before I get started, I'll show you my hair for now. Before I add any extra. Very ash blonde. Oh my god. Your dog. I'm so sorry. That is such emotional support. And that you've lost. Oh. Can you know? I feel so bad. Was your doggy sick or anything? We all know, we're all pet people. We all have our emotional support pets. So we know that pain. Loss. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to lower this. Hi, these cabbies, dolls, and toys. I hope you enjoyed the video I did Um, with the rerouting the cabbage patch. I hope you guys saw how I did the front part with the looping. <sighs> Oh, honey, we're going to need glasses today. Okay. Yes, that was something I always do with my cabbages. I always put baby powder in them, the talc. Um, I also put that inside the head. After I do not use liquid glue. I use a hot glue. And then I sprinkle powder, and I put um, the little hand size of stuffing into the Cabbage Patch Kid's head. It prevents pox, moisture, things like that from getting inside your Cabbage Patch. All right, so I'm going to readjust this to focus on my hands and the table, but I am glad you enjoyed that because I did it, uh, especially for you, since you requested it. That would be a good video for you. Okay. And I think I did, I did show the powder. Okay, so I'm setting some things aside. Let me come out, zoom out, there we go. All right, I got scissors for whatever purpose. These are my tweezers. I love these, I get these at Sally's. I have all varieties. Mm. So I have Style Magic Barbie and Style Magic Whitney. Um, it's Style Magic Barbie's neck that broke. But I'm going to reroute both of these girls. Here's Style Magic Barbie. Um, there's a ring, it's blue, Barbie's was pink and got lost over the rainbow somewhere here. All right, so here's the chunk that's missing, or that's broke off. I had to take her head off and fix that. That reminds me where to put the ball. Ah, uh, that's last. I don't know, with it being this type of plastic, I might not need to do this. I'm not going to use this and wrap it around the ball. Because I'm going to leave it inside of her head. There. Help it fit more snug and make it tighter. Okay. 
Well, I'm happy I'm able to provide for you um, a doll video. All right, so acrylic will be done last. Oh my God. How is it? I just had it in my hands, my, where did I put it? I just had it. I was talking with Linda, let me grab that. Okay, so I'm looking where it's broke. Okay, I'm going to zoom in. There we go. And I'm going to squeeze this in there. I'm concerned about my cousin, one of them. Um, he, he turned 50 and he's in the hospital due to a stroke. Pressing firmly, but it's in there nice and tightly. So now I'm doing my hand, not too firmly, don't want to break it. But I can see a little glue here. And I see it on the inside as well, which tells me that the glue is exactly where it needs to be and a little bit on the outside, which is fine. So I'm going to add acrylic to reinforce it. This is thick. Look how thick. See right there what's broke right here? I'm going to use this right here. Look right here. Look how thick that is. This should not be breaking. It makes no sense to me. All right. Here's the top. I'm holding this with tweezers. I'm looking to see where this fits. Oh my God, I still got a piece missing, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead. Oh my God, you're kidding me. You mean I should have did this before I put the ball in? Okay, I'm going in, work the glue that's already in. There, that got worked. Because I'm going to have to push the ball in. And I do not want to break it all over again. And I don't want to break another piece. Darn it. Didn't think about that at first. I figured that would be enough space right there. Ah. Okay. Popped in. All right, that works, that works. Okay, I didn't break anything. Got it, got it. All right, we did that. Okay, there we go. Now, I am going to gently apply the glue here on the inside along the lining where it's broken. Okay. Now I'm going to take the tweezers, grab them by the sharp point like this. Hmm. Why is this not wanting to fit right? Crazy how many Barbies I got in the hotel with broken necks. Yeah, she's got definitely need a thin layer of acrylic. Oh, my fingers are sticking all on here. Okay. Now I need this to dry. Hold on. I'm opening the scissors, pressing under here, underneath the bob. 
Yes, Barbie's getting new hair. I already, I had already ordered it. Whitney is also getting new hair as well. All right, so now it's time for acrylic. Now that the glue has set, I need something to reinforce because with this type of neck break, damn it. Oh, does Vanessa not get my messages? Darn it. Okay, so there. All right. I noticed someone who watches, they did this on a, um, a Barbie video. Clay to cover a Barbie broken neck? Clay? No, that's a very different substance and it will break a lot easier. I mean, it's clay. It'd be like a piece of pottery. I'm dropping these little balls, acrylic balls. Yeah, because with this, with the right amount of acetone, it melts into the acrylic, into all these little spots, and you sculpt it and you shape it. And the reason why I'm doing videos of this back to back now is because this is happening with so many dolls, even newer dolls. Now, see the cracks in there? I'm pressing here, smooth it out. Okay, so do you see the cracks in the front? I'm going to fill them in with acrylic, diluted some, there we go. Damn phone. Brittany, you always keep popping in live, popping in live. Girl, they will come, but as your friend, you got some stuff going on and people can see a difference in how you do things. You don't do it the way you, you did previously. You got to catch that, pick up on it and handle it. For me, uh, I, I've been doing nail acrylic for a long time because it lasts a lot longer than the doll's plastic. Now I'm going to the cracks where I just repaired them a few moments ago. Yep, that looks good. It'll also help Barbie's head fit on her body tighter. Okay, good. I can move the neck around. That looks good. I'm kind of going around a little bit, making sure it's fully acrylic. A nice thin layer around it. Let's 
I may end up doing a body swap. Because um, even though her legs and everything is good, still, I don't want... I want it to match because I'm doing a reboot on her. I mean, and Sarah, someone just copy. I read it for my video to be shared instead. Your cats! Dad, I don't know. They knocked something down in the kitchen. They're abusive. Right. Plenty of acrylic is all around. So, what do we do? We just sit. See what I mean? Tight leg joints, great bending legs. So, now I can just set it, let it dry. What are they doing? Oh, God. Let me go check on her little, her little critters. Get off the table. What are you doing? Oh my god. They're trying to eat the plastic off this thing frame or something, you guys. Alright, put Whitney's body aside. I'm cleaning my brush. I'm double checking her neck. What I'm going to do is simple. I'm going to file this a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and reinforce her neck while I'm doing this. Clean it up a little bit, prevent anything from happening. There, see? Zoom in a little bit. Darn, I'm zooming in and then I'm zooming out. There we go. So I'm smoothing that out. I'm, um, Put some acrylic to it. Y'all know how these 80s and 90s Barbies are tripping on us. So there's before on this side. She got a hair on the arm. See, I got rid of those um, edges, but I'm going to now do a little acrylic. Not too much, I'm just going to do a thin layer. Do the upper half here, see the difference? Acrylic has been applied right up here. I'm going to do the other side now. And I'm just doing a thin layer now, working my way straight up the neck from the side up. There. So there's the full side of the neck. It's getting a matte finish to it.
This is what I call preventive care. Mm. She looks dirty here and here. Well, at least her neck is clean. Okay, so from the side, there. See from the back? It's nice, round, even, same size. Got the same size. You can see from the front side. It's just white, pale, not worried about it. I'm going to do a color match with paint. But before I paint it, I'm going to scrub the body clean. That is definitely what I'm going to do. I'm checking these areas here of her arms. They look fine. You can just see where they're connected. That's it. I mean, otherwise, there's nothing wrong with it. She looks fine. Okay. So, now that I've had the reinforcements, hold on. Go ahead and file that in front. Get that lump out the way that I did with acrylic. Oh yeah, that's getting nice and hard quickly. Okay. This is a good way to also do things with your Barbie. If they have a, the, the head is wobbly on the body, this is also a good way to fix that. There we go. Okay, done. I did reinforcements. It looks good from the view. So when I file it down, we're going to just file it to smoothen it out. Double checking over here. We'll do one more thin layer. And rub that through. There we go. Prevent her neck from cracking or breaking. That way it's good and strong. Perfect. There we go. Done deal. Hold on. Let's zoom out. Okay. So now I'm going to clean my brush with the acrylic and the napkin. Okay. Done deal. There. Always clean your brush so it goes back to normal. Or as normal as possible. We are done with the acrylic for what's left back into the bottle. Till it. All right. Now, I have a collector Barbie who is going to need new hair. Moving my utensils over to the side. Um, I have the Tooth Fairy Barbie from Amazon. Here's her head, pretty face, pretty face. And we have our hair right here. Plenty of Platinum Snow White. I am debating if I would rather give her a different hair color. If 
I'd rather give her black hair or mix this color with a different color. As you can see, I already have some that's already out that I need to pick. Mm. This got messed up because people keep touching my stuff. Okay. Paris, you made it. Thanks, girl. You were sitting up there lying in here. People are like, what is going on? Say cat silk. Snow white. I use a size large. This is one order. One order of hair comes with two bags. <clears throat> I like it because it's super long. And my technique I use is what makes me give my dolls beautiful long hair. So I'm debating on using blondicious mix with this. That's what I'm thinking. Blondicious and this mix. Um, I think it should be fun to take the Barbie convention. I'm still waiting on that to come in. So, yes. Hi, Paris. Good to see you, darling. Did you find anything at Walmart? And that a real super... Oh, wait a minute. What was that? Mm, narcissist, okay. All right, the acrylic powder, I need to put this up. And I'm still not home. Oh my God. Well, you know something? I'm glad that you got to go out with your friend and I'm glad the two of you got to have a girl's day and you got to go shopping. So Barbie's neck broke. As you can see now, the acrylic has turned white. You cannot visibly see where her neck was broken because I did a thicker layer of acrylic. But I'm moving this around like that to make sure that the white ball in Barbie's neck is movable so that her neck will still, her head will be posable. It's very important. See? There. It can move all directions. Frontwards, backwards, as usual. Nice thick layer of acrylic. Yes. Nicely filled in. Once I file it down, it'll be the perfect size. I'm still waiting, letting it dry. Here is Whitney's. As you can see, it's turning white. That means it's drying pretty good. So hers is just to prevent her from getting damaged. Okay, I'm going to see if this is ready for me to file down. Now, this video was nothing new. I have video, this same type of video is up here on YouTube from a few years ago. Forget it. There are some shortcuts you just can't do. If you do, you're going to just mess up your doll. Child, me making a video as the first video after you losing your pet, I don't think that's good. I think it's good to be, that you have a distraction to look forward to. But I, I think it's very sad that you've lost your dog. How did your dog pass? Was she old? Was she sick? <laughs>
she had a lost piece of her neck. I filled it in with acrylic. That was right here in the front. Oh, that's good. That's very good. So if you see right here in the very front, she was missing a part of her neck right there in the front. Okay, now the other side, the back side to buff it out. Okay, now that I'm looking at everything, it looks smooth. Now, I'm not going to do anything to it until tomorrow. After all, this is plastic Barbie doll neck, not a fingernail. So, now I'm going to let this be, and tomorrow I will finish it up with paint. There we go, smooth it out. So, there we go. Now, Barbie's neck is fixed. Yep, it'd be easy, simple paint match, and apply a nice layer, a couple layers of sealer, and we're good. This one I did just for good measure to prevent her neck from breaking. Mm -hmm. Smooth that.
I hope my cousin John will be all right. I hope he makes a speedy recovery. Um, he's in the hospital. There we go. Nice finish. See? So that's that. Now we'll just let them sit like this overnight. And tomorrow, or tomorrow evening, because I have several things to do tomorrow, I will, um, um, paint those areas. So there will be a part two, but right now, that is how you repair your Barbie's neck. It can work on any Barbie, um, or any other doll, to be honest with you, that's broken for plastic neck repairs or whatever. Um, this is the way to do it. Like this will make you professional, okay? Period. So, goodbye. Thank you for joining me. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.